Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout Nevada. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're supposed to join me today. We found the bikers, we're talking to the only biker in here, apart from this person, who surely isn't a biker, because the bike probably wouldn't handle that. Uh, or maybe it would, I don't know, but she ta he's talking to us, and uh, she was telling us all about what they do. They are bikers, and she's not. She's a girl biker. That is a different thing, suppose. I have no idea. I don't know. Um, so she asks what hole I came out of. Uh, from the vault to the west. Really? Yeah. I can even show you the coordinates. I'm serious. Yeah, that's wicked. I'm not gonna give her the coordinates. If that's true, you know, you should tell about it to our leader. He loves any tech and would be very glad to visit your vault. I'm sure he would. I wouldn't mind sending them there. They're all jerks anyway. They sent me out. Hey, I want to talk to you about things. Um, where are you from? Oh, from Vegas. Why do you ask? You've gotten yourself quite far away from home. I wouldn't mind going anywhere in America as long as I'm with Phil and his boys. Uh, did your parents allow you to loiter around the desert with those guys? Man, that's... That's one question. She probably doesn't have any parents. I'm not gonna ask that. But I can't... I want... I want... She probably doesn't have any parents, for one. Uh, but I want to see where the game goes with this. I didn't ask for their permission. Well, there it is. Sure. It's the post-apocalyptic world. Uh, these bikers, are they dependable enough? Oh, they rule. They can really feel free when you stick around them. You can really feel free. Yeah. Uh, they won't judge you or anything. You can just be yourself, you know? Yeah. Did your parents allow you... No, okay. Well, uh, did you... but the question I was going to ask, did your parents judge you and not allow you to be yourself? Uh, how do they treat you? Can't be better. Only they can... Only they can provide me with all the happiness in the world. I don't even hesitate to chug a couple of beers here. If I were home, she says, lifting her fingers in sort of quotation marks, my parents would hand my ass over to me for even thinking about drinking beer. Uh, are the others all drunkards? No, but they always enjoy a good beer. But they like tinkering with some dirty tech more, though. But if you combine both of these, oh, that's a real holiday. You really should go to school. I'll tell you that. I'll, that's the real holiday. That's sure. Technology and beer. What's a better thing than getting your fingers, like, snapped and things because you were messing around with something and you were drunk and you didn't. And then there's... You can get yourself... You do get yourself hurt if you're a mechanic. Don't... Seriously, where... Um, all right. Uh, so how do you buy? That's okay. Let's talk to this guy over here. He looks at your hands and laughs. What is it? Uh, can I buy metal parts from you? This is what I mean. This is a beautiful. Apparently, I can. Oh, you got things. Oh, lovely. Okay, take that. Uh, take not these. I might need those. Uh, save. Uh, sell. Yeah. Uh, let's see. One of these, I suppose. Yeah. Ooh, that is fantastic. Where did I need this? I needed that for somewhere. And that is fantastic to have, but I don't remember where I needed that to. For. Okay. Uh, what is this? This is, uh, pretty important. Carrying it around. Why am I carrying it around? Because I wanted to save it? Or to sell it? Maybe. I can sell this, though. Yeah. Okay, I want that. That is pretty expensive. I'll get that. I'll get this. What is this thing? Super Science. Perhaps only the only pre-war magazine entirely dedicated to the theme of energy weapons. Readers snapped it up like hotcakes. So to find it, it's a great luck. Which makes no sense because it would be the opposite. Because if they, you know, like if they sold a lot, then you find a lot of them. That's... That's just how it goes. We're not we're not finding them in the shops here. We're finding them in the houses of people who have died to death. <sighs> so I kinda want it. But I kinda yeah, I'll get it. It's a little bit of money, but yeah, well. Do I need anything else from here? Got a Tesla armor. Yeah, it's cool. I don't have one, but I like mine better. This one is about the same as a power armor mark too, except it's got more Electricity uh, resistance. I'm gonna sh sell that. Oh, it sort of sucks. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Do I sell anything else that I have in here? I might. Not that I can see anything. Oh, I got the crowbar. Might need it for something. 
Uh, apparently, I'm not gonna sell it for anything else. Okay, you keep that. And I'm gonna have to pay a little bit. It's not too bad. If I find the money. I swear that I have it somewhere, sir. I'm so sorry. I, I'll find it. I'm sure. There it is. I, I found it. I found it. Okay, so it's 351. Thank you. No, it's the 400. I'm so sorry. There you go. No tips. What is this? United States? <laughs> uh, guys, who are you anyway? They look at each other and laugh at you. They laugh a lot. They're, they're drunk. That's right. I forgot about that. Have you ever heard about bikers? <sighs> yeah, maybe I did. You're something like a gang, right? Gang? Well, if you have the guts, you can call us that. The guts. The guts to call them a gang. Sure. What are you doing? Let's make it simple. Everything about metal parts. It's our speciality. Metal parts? Space into question mark. Yeah, we ride around the desert and collect old technology. If you need repairs or, or parts, tell me. Even though we have other ways of income. But this passion never went away over the years. Uh, so they're geeks. I love them. Nice. About, the rep about repairs. I want to improve my weapon. Uh, rifle. Assault rifle. Can you make something with it? Expand the mag. Oh, definitely not. That sucks. Pistol. No, don't have any. Another weapon. Nope. Uh, so, about repairs, no, can't do anything. Um, maybe you heard a train passing by? I did, many times, but we could not catch up to it. <laughs> That's not how, <laughs> these guys would be terrible train robbers. I mean, you can, I guess you can catch up to a train and rob it, but that's not how you do that. <laughs> uh, who could, who could, who could have drive, who could have, who could be driving it? What do you think? Of course, no one. This is a ghost train. What, never heard of it? Nah. So, I'll tell you about this one, uh, about it one more time, even though I didn't tell you. Listen carefully. They launched autopilot trains before the war. Just a couple of for a try to see how it would go. So they drove all over Nevada. And then, pow, something broke in automatic systems. Okay, crashed? No, the idiots from the rail station tried to stop it, but all in vain. As they were trying, the war began. And to this day, it drives up and down Nevada. Funny legend. And also ri ridiculous. Oh, boy. Uh, so, one does not hear much about you guys in Nevada. Well, that's right. Wait a minute. One does not? One does not. And he's apparently proud of it. That's right. Everything that is happening in the gang stays within the gang. We are self-sufficient in order not... We are self-sufficient, so we don't get involved with all the cities and settlements. And some people are using that. Okay, I, I thought I was gonna be it was gonna make it all much more, you know, make sense. But then he says the last sentence, and I, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's a strange thing. He says in re, in the region of New Reno, caravan drivers stopped communicating communicating with us. We were cool in the past, and now they are being suspicious about us, like they are afraid of something. I would look into it myself, but not even. But no one even wants to talk to us, and they would, and they would listen to you. Sure, what needs to be done? For start, find out why we get such a bad rep, what is happening, and who spreads bad rumors about us. Uh, any info is important. Yeah, sounds simple. Come back when you uh, learn something. If you want, I can t take you to New Reno and leave you at the outskirts. No, thank you. Uh, that would be good. But can I ask you later? Maybe about the job. Yeah, I can ask him later. That's fantastic. Um, so tell me about your armor. I'm very interested. I want it. Oh, you're interested? Really? I can talk about it for hours. Uh, but for that, I will need something to drink, right? Right. And three bucks. This I'm being gouged here. Also, I never find my money. Dang it. I have so much of it. Probably put a lot of it in different places. So, you know. It'd be easy to uh, to be like, oh, take all my money and just give him a little bit. Uh, uh, I'll be back. Uh, watch your armor. Here is a beer. Okay, but uh, what do you want to know? Okay, where did you get that armor? What is that armor? Where did you get it? Would you sell it or trade it for something? Let's go with that right away. No way. This armor became my second hide. You can remove it only off my dead body. Hopefully I can, because that doesn't work in Fallout. Uh, and that won't happen soon. But if even there will be such an idiot that is capable of killing me, know this. It's impossible to remove the armor, so I can't remove it all off your dead body, you jerk. Uh, if it is intact. Wait a minute. No. If 
it's intact. What? It's impossible to remove the armor. I suppose even if it's in intact, in order to kill the owner, you have to at least damage the plates. If it isn't intact, I suppose that's what it means. Uh, could you make one just like this one? You think I'll be a sold? I'll get a. S you think I'll get a soldering iron? Oh, that's actually important. I I, I know that. I know he's giving me the the blue the things. Okay, I got the things. Okay, uh, the, uh I got ne the things. So need soldering iron, I suppose, because we, we know one, nowhere one can be gotten. Uh, although I forgot where. Uh, I suppose it is in the wind of war, but we'll see. Uh, or maybe it's in. Did I go? Did I go to Las Vegas? I don't think I did. Um, Soldering iron make what Americans have been making for years. Before the war, hundreds of specialists worked on it, and all I have is my guys, although I would be happy to make one. I even found some of the original bl blueprints, but in our condition, or in our conditions, it is almost impossible. Um, bl okay, I, I, lots of exclamation. Maybe, I should, maybe this is not a list. Maybe it's not going to give me a list. Uh, I can work for it. It's more like it. Solve the problem in the arena. Sounds good. Um, wait a minute. Did I offer to pay? No. He wants... Okay. The work. Uh, so, yeah. He wants the... Wants the okay. Sounds good. Uh, yeah. That's pretty cool, actually. That we need to go that, back there. Uh, so... Where'd you get the armor? Well, if I tell you, then I'll have to kill you. Ah. Yeah, I'm kidding. Honestly, the story is not for you. Well... Why? <laughs> Why? What is the armor? It's a Power Armor T-51B, pre-war build. But I'm not as... Le well, the post-war builds are not T-51Bs. And actually, they are. But... Actually, wait, well, pre-war... But don't act it like it, they, it's different. It's not. The, the post-war T-51Bs look exactly the same as the pre-wars. They made different types of power armor. And you see that, in, for example, in the... Uh, the Enclave Power Armor, the Mark II... Uh, they made uh, the hardened power armor. This is still a T-51B. Uh, it should be pre-war built. It's not a different build. It's not like a computer or something. But I'm not as lucky as it seems, he says. Some parts aren't functioning, although all the basics are in norm. It offers protection from radiation, too, and boosts my strength. Inside there is microfusion cell that pow It's not a microfusion cell that powers it. It's uh, It's got a, compl a complicated name, and it's, uh, it's detailed in Fallout 1. Um, the part of the module that increases my strength, and it just it doesn't just increase the strength. It also does a bunch of things, and also it doesn't increase the strength. It it's a powered armor. It allows you to move with power. It's more. It's not. It's just that's not. Anyway, for for note, if not for T fifty one, which is not the T fifty one B, again with these abbreviations, they get on my nerves. Uh, Americans with a capital with a lowercase a would not run Anchorage. And I'd love to know what Anchorage is. Operation Anchorage, I know that that's a, a DLC for Fallout 3. Hmm. But I might be wrong. So, um, uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to know. Is there anything else? Yeah, tell me. Any civil city around here? Civil city. Civil? The fuck you find civil? Without the what, I don't know what you want. Show me your map. I'll show you. Here's New Reno. Great place. Just... How we like it. Anarchy. It's quite not like that at all. Uh, freedom and independence. Yeah, no, it's not, it wasn't. Well, uh, we came to relax in the casino sometime there, he says. Here is Salt Lake. Boring city. I need to go there. But peaceful compared to others. And here is uh, the right stuff. Las Vegas. Perhaps the main spot in Nevada, although it's far. Yeah, Salt Lake is not in Nevada, though. Uh, so he didn't say that. It's in Utah, right? I'm not mistaken on that, am I? Okay. Uh, what is this place around us? Military radio station. Oh, this is good. To the south are the ruins for military purpose. Gotcha. And uh, I suppose it might be like a training center. They have ruins for military purposes. Uh, and around them is mountains and desert. If you wish to, wa to, to wonder, to wan wander the outskirts, don't forget to grab a stick, or better yet, something that kicks with electric charge. <laughs> Why? There's a lot of wild dogs in the ruins. They usually stay away from us. They are afraid, but outsiders like you, they will strip to the bone. Okay, something with electric charge. What is that for? In the mountains, he says, in the northeast, there is fly there are flying robots. We can't find where they 
came from or what their purpose is, but we know that they kill all humanoid creatures they can find. My god, I'm... Yeah, you have been warned. I'm just... I'm making it better. I'm making it better just then. Uh, it's better than, than not, because... Yeah. Uh, for everyone involved. You, me, and everything. So, you have transport. Can you drive to the city? Uh, that's... Yeah, I've done everything. I'll be right back. Maybe with more loot or something. Uh, what we have... Got more of these things. What are they supposed to be? Nothing out of the uh, nothing out of the ordinary. That's what they are. Radar installation. That's what it is. I don't. I don't know enough about radar to know what that is. You cannot open this door. Can I not? No. Cannot. Why? Hey, kid. What the fuck do you want there? I don't want anything anywhere. They're scripted. They're not scripted. You can't see any locks. Interesting. That does nothing. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna reload here. Because these guys are rude. But I also will leave a bomb in here. Because I'm amazing. Also, I don't... Do I have a bomb? Did I carry it with me? Maybe I didn't. Oh, no. I don't have bombs. What a terrible thing. Don't have explosives of any sort. How do I get in there, then? You guys are jerks. This is indeed a radio station thingy. An antenna. So we need to come... I suppose we need to come back after we are done with uh, the new Reno quest. Sure, let's do it. Uh, this is... That doesn't give radiation, by the way. Um, yeah. So basically there's two locations. Gotcha. wonder if I can... Just... Yep, Biker's Camp and Main Street. Okay, so he gave me Salt Lake City. Said it was... Oh, it's to the east, it's not to the north. Uh, we could go there, but we're not going there. Uh, we're going to Poseidon Oil Nuclear Power Plant. Heck yeah, we are. Ooh, we are get finding also a bunch of dogs. I'll kill you all. Because I need the experience. Actually, I'll kill you instead. No, I won't. I've changed my mind. Freaking 95% misses, I'll tell you. Also, that was going to be a tough fight and just... Yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter. And look at that. We're getting better, better uh, mileage here. That was not that was the location where I found the the red scorpions, the giant the legendary ones, but that's not exactly where I found the the red scorpions. That is I think a huge like a huge giant Godzilla like footprint or something. The nuclear power plant emits heavy amounts of radiation. You better hurry up. I got the strange I don't even I got the strange what? <laughs> Oh boy, I got a Geiger counter though, so I I, I got I I'm, I'm all good. Uh, the way this is used is like this. I just have seven. Sem seven is good, even though it isn't. So it is off. Is it? It is on. Okay. Are we good? I suppose is this good? No. I think that's like twenty-five bucks each. Huh, curious. Maybe I should have come here before. Got some interesting things in here. Including a toilet. A crude but effective toilet. The way the comas. Oh no, what is that? Oh, hi. Hello. What is that thing? Is that a body? That's a body, isn't it? Well, you need to die. I hit with a 77. Hi. 69. Nice. Good. Okay. 40 experience. These guys are better than the 20 experience geckos that I was finding. Unless I'm mistaken, of course, and it wasn't 20 experience geckos. Maybe I'm also doing something bad in not... Uh, these are pretty heavy. But I'll, I'll take them. Uh, unless I'm doing something bad here. 
No, I'm not. Good. What exa exactly was this? Prospector's remains. This is all that is left of the Prospector. He wanted to feast on the local treasures. And then he broke all of his teeth. Uh, but in the end, somebody feasted on him. I get where they're going. I get what they're aiming for when they say that. It is okay. <laughs> it is okay. Oh, these are heavy. I don't like it. Can I eat it from here? No? Okay, whatever. Just leave it over there. I don't expect to find really good stuff in here. What is that? You see that white thing? I mean... No, no, don't... Oh, you idiot. What are you doing? What are you even doing? I don't have enough action points. To investigate. She looks dead. No kidding, Sherlock. What is that? I am using action points. Why? Okay. This is gonna be pretty bad. Oh, this is gonna be the worst. Oh, that that was even worse. Okay, screw you. Screw you and your man, man, man that doesn't tell me down here. Okay, so I don't want about want to know about that cow. It's just a weird cow, or Brahma, Brahma. Sorry, not cow. Very important distinction. Now you. Good. Uh, fifty-one damage. That is proper. Okay, are you blind or something? Yep. Can I shoot you? Yeah, I can. Okay, did I break anything? No. Yeah, that guy's not having anything to do with me right now. That is a kill. No, it is not. Curious. 61% miss, and is of course was totally expectable. 77 critical hit miss was pretty awesome. Causing blindness. No, he did more than that. Hey, don't run away. You weren't running away when I was shooting at you. Okay, don't run away, please. I just told you. You jerk. No, it's not what I want. That's what I want. I like for this to be daytime. Ooh, that was nice. 70 experience for that for that one. Cool stuff. Okay, he doesn't have anything because I don't know how to skin him and this Brahmin. Let's let the dead rest in peace. No! Investigate what it is. Oh, this is not good. Good. Not good. Definitely not good. Uh, let's do that. Maybe it is. I do only, only use three action points going into the inventory. So it's not too big of a deal. And we leveled up. Heck yeah, we have. Uh, this can... I can sustain that for a little bit. Uh, also probably want to check on my current radiation. It's up 39. This rate I'll be okay. He doesn't tell me that I'm receiving doses of radiation though. I'll take uh, Red X in a little bit. Ooh, that was... Oh, yeah, I guess. Because he is... Um... Ooh, that was bad. He's blind. Okay, let's take Red X. Drugs. That's the one. Good. 50 radiation resistance. My current one is... 58. Can I take more? Suppose I can. Let's take two. There it is. 37. Maximum. Yeah. No, actually, it isn't maximum. It's 95. Can't go above that. Which sucks. But it's okay. As long as I don't actually die from radiation, I'll get a free heal. Also, we have that guy over there. Ooh. Okay, he didn't see me. I'll tell you. Hopefully that guy also decides to come down here. I'm thinking he's not going to do that. Nice kill. Oh, I didn't go into these houses. What kind of ar archaeologist am I? Not really archaeologist. You know, it's sort of a little bit like that. We have a crowbar, of course. 
You also have small energy cell. I'll take it. Thank you. Small though it may be, it is still worthwhile to bring it along. Because we have no more room in our inventory. We are carrying a crowbar though, so I might just drop it. How do I get in there? There's a door. Are these... Uh-huh. I was gonna say... Okay, this makes no sense, but I was gonna say... Are these the same locations as the ones in uh, in Fallout 2? And the answer is yes. Yes, they are. This is the bar. Uh, yes. Yes, they are. Corrugated sheet metal over there. Uh, being preserved for hundreds of years. Uh, and... Um, and reused in Fallout 2. For, I hope I'm not infected. For... Um, for gecko so yeah so I'm not infected this is good news uh, we also know where the radiation come from comes from this is Harold's house I think and we've got some shotgun shells cannot carry that okay cannot carry that either but that's fine just take it don't have anything back here we do have the gecko that ran away that's fine we're going to the north area an area that I sometimes forget exists because I just, I guess I don't pay attention or as much as I should. Uh, I sometimes forget that this area exists up here. But it is a very important area. Of course. I mean, not in this game. Maybe in this game. The junkyard. God damn it. What do you mean, god damn it? Oh boy. God damn it. <laughs> well, I, I guess, I guess I know what's going on in here. Bunch of geckos eating Brahmin. That's the spirit. There we go. Next. Oh, I think I just took radiation. Bad news. Oof. Oof, nice. 40 damage and they're dead for 40 experience. Good stuff. Now this one is gonna aggro the other one for sure. Maybe not, because the one-shot kill might... Yep. I know my game. I know Fallout. Although, this doesn't look very good. This is not going to turn around. They do turn around. Okay, now please kill this guy with a single shot. No. Did you blind him? No. Ooh, the other one didn't aggro. That's interesting. Aha! Uh -huh. Your little chubby arm is gone. And so is your life. <laughs> so this is basically the same level as the one in Fallout 2. I don't think it's particularly... I like it when when stuff like Diablo 2, for example, has got a level that is very similar to the main level in, Fall, in Diablo 1. And, uh, and I, I think that's a cool thing, this cool little detail. It's not immediately the same, but it's sort of the same. Cannot be opened. It's so tightly jammed that you can't even move it. Well, let's see if these garage doors do. Locked from the inside. That made a racket. Uh, well, I do have grenades. So they would normally work for the wall blowing up of, of things. Hopefully, anyway. Let's give it a try. Why not? Your aim is blocked. No, it's not. You see a massive... No. I heard myself throwing a grenade. At least it didn't blow up. So that was a good thing. Let's try it again. You missed... No. Fired a dead shot with a grenade. I'm gonna go up on, on this. I just wanna see if that thing blows up. Because if that thing blows up, then uh, I'm gonna find a way to... Uh, to have a better time here. I'm just getting misses because, of course, I'm really bad at this. But not anymore. Oh, yeah. I might still blow myself up with, because of being too close. The, this metal door is too strong just to kick it open. Well, that's because of, that's why I threw a grenade at it. But I was suspecting that. That's why uh, That's why I saved and, and upped my, uh, my throwing skill. But anyway, we're out of time for the day, and we probably still have access to the underground level. We also still have junk in here, uh, but we're going to explore this in the next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been 
Fallout Nevada. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.